Why are Brits always sunburned? Bottle of water. Are Brits circumcised? A Brit yeah. after five drinks in a good mood is your is... best friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I am Claire and I am Kerpa and today we're going to be answering many Googled questions about being British. I'm scared to see how people interpret the United Kingdom. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be very positive. I don't think so either. Why are Brits so obsessed with tea? <sighs> Colonialism. It's just such a British thing though, it's so part of our culture. Mm. Yeah, always like, stop for a cuppa. Yeah. <laughs> Fancy a cuppa. Yeah, <laughs> or, if, or if someone's upset, it's, oh, I'll go put the kettle on. We can yeah. sit down and talk about it. It's like a warm hug. It's a whole event around it. Mm. Yeah, and so many different, like, weird like, things like, do you put the milk in first? Do you put yeah. the milk in after? Yeah. What kind of biscuit can you dunk in your tea? Yeah, how, <laughs> how many seconds can you leave the biscuit in before it falls apart? <laughs> The most British thing about me is probably that I apologise for absolutely everything. Just cannot stop saying sorry. The most British thing I can't stand is uh, all of these Brits on holiday. You know, the ones who get really, really drunk and scream at people. Like, it's so embarrassing. Why are British eggs orange? Are they orange? <laughs> we have orange yolk. You know, sometimes you get oh, the special yolk maybe in the middle. Maybe it's that. I never knew that eggs came in a different colour until I moved abroad. I never knew this. I thought all eggs were, were this orange, beige kind of colour and um, I always thought that in American cartoons eggs were white just because that's how they were in cartoons. I never knew that they were different colours. The, the most British thing about me is my approachability. Oh, I can't stand tea. That's the biggest thing I can't stand about Britishisms. Why is British food so bad? <laughs> okay. So I love it but I think People from other places, I think they, they don't understand. <laughs> yeah, it's very bland, I would say. It's not the most interesting, but it's so homely and comforting. We're very limited in our dishes. Yes. It's just a lot of chips and a lot of sauces and a lot of carbs. We've, yeah, if you're hungover. Best food in the world. And you get fish and chips from the oh chippy, that is going to sort you out. The most British thing about me is a dry sense of humour and a deep fear of offending other people. The thing I find most annoying about the UK is the price of the trains and that the pubs close at 11pm. Why are British houses so small? This I agree with. That is absolutely true. Yeah. Are they smaller than other places? American houses are really big. Maybe British people are just smaller. They're houses, so you could theoretically build them with much higher ceilings and build them higher. And they just don't. I don't understand, and the walls are also really thin too. We don't have like, good architects. And the most British thing about me is my sarcastic and dry sense of humour. The British thing that I cannot stand is our culture towards pretending like everything's okay. Why are Brits so reserved? I'd hazard the guess at the whole old school mentality of children are to be seen and not heard. Yeah. And you need to be polite and quiet and do as you're told and put in your place. Sometimes we aren't actually very straightforward. We no, are, um, no, no. instead of being like, I don't like you doing this, people are like, mm, actually, I'm not too sure about the way you're potentially doing this, but I think we could <laughs> be doing the in the most long-winded way. Yeah, I think Brits are so scared of offending each other. Yeah, yeah. So we just want to be nice but then I think it actually makes us less nice ultimately because we're secretly resentful. hundred percent. Why are Brits so snobby? Because we're the best. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a French person wrote this. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I think um, the general idea of people thinking of people, British people abroad, they must assume that everybody's like upper middle class and like, but we're not. And I don't, most British people, British people are so down to earth. This is a quite classic one. Why are Brits always sunburned? Yeah, I definitely turn into a lobster in the sun. <laughs> we don't get that much sun. It's always like rainy or cloudy or there's always some reason. So we're always out in the sun. We always want to be in the sun. So either we forget to put sun cream on because we're like, oh, well, it's only 15 degrees. It can't be that strong. Or we've slathered it on and we're like, okay, we're, we're fine for the day. You come home without a bit of sunburn from a holiday. People mm -hmm. won't take you seriously. Why do Brits drink so much? Oh, oh my god, there's so much So all borderline this depressed. <laughs> yeah, truly. There's a toxic combination of vitamin D deficiency, seasonal affective disorder, small houses. It's escapism, for mm. sure. Actually, that's one of the things I do miss 
like people from all generations like coming into like one bar and like getting so drunk together they lose all inhibition. I miss those sticky carpets. <laughs> <laughs> Are Brits circumcised? <laughs> it's definitely a very American thing. It's really cultural. It, they find it weird if you're not circumcised, whereas it's definitely not a British thing, unless you have a medical reason or you're Jewish. Are Brits European? No. <laughs> I think that's for a number of reasons. Think do you Geographically, we're an island away from Europe, even though we've been considered European for so long. It's not much in our culture that makes us feel European. Well, it's on the European continent, mm. so yes, I think they are. Yeah. Maybe they don't like to think they are sometimes, but they are. Are Brits happy with Brexit? At least the people we know aren't, yeah. I would say. It's so, like, I'd divided. Even the people I know who voted to leave, they're not happy with it, but they're they just kind of make excuses for it, like, oh, well, it's this because of the pandemic, oh, it's this because of this, and then you're like, it's everything all together, but I understand that you're not happy about it, so no, I don't think they are. The ones that wanted Brexit are now being slapped in the face yeah. with reality. People that voted the Leave campaign and, like, voted for Leave, like, what that did was incite a lot of right-wing politics, and it made a lot of people, especially as an ethnic person in the UK, feel very alienated. I felt very alien in my own country. Are British people friendly? <laughs> yeah, I feel like both. Yes. The more south, the more unfriendly it becomes. Northern English are quite friendly. Quite Scots friendly. are more friendly. The Welsh are really friendly. The charm of the Irish is something else. And it depends how many drinks the Brit has had. A Brit yeah. after five drinks in a good mood is your is best friend. The, yeah, and the that's best friend for life. They will they will keep in touch with you forever. What do Brits say and really mean? My mum is from um, Singapore and Singaporean women are so straightforward. It, what you say is what you get. And I think um, I've been told many times that I am, especially in England, even though I am British, I'm very straightforward. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that's like a cultural difference. British people can say so many words, but at the same time say absolutely nothing. <laughs> mm, yeah. I know and what you mean. like, you really have to like read in between the lines. Mm -hmm. For example, if I offer you a cup of tea, you have to say no at least three times mm. before it's polite mm. for you to, for me to give you a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If a Brit ever says something says something with beginning with, look, I'm not being mean, but you know the thing after that is going to be true. Horrible. What do British people call a fart? Trump is one. My next door neighbour, she used to call it a toot. <laughs> Passing wind. Ah, uh, yes, that's a really polite version. How do British people say bottle of water? Bottle of water? I say water because I'm from London. I think I'm a bit more posh, so I say a bottle of water, mm. please. Bottle of water. How do Brits dry their clothes on the radiator? I mean, we have those clothes horses as well. Maybe outside on a line? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the summer for sure. Yeah. But it's quite stressful because it rains so much that you always have to be like running in and out, taking them <laughs> yeah. like, ah, the sign of rain, quick, run out, grab the washing. <laughs> grabbing all the pegs off, throwing them down, grabbing all these clothes that are now wet on you and now you're wet as well. How do British guys flirt? Not very well. <laughs> <laughs> what they do is they have at least three pints and then maybe they'll come up and say, all right. <laughs> <laughs> me, I'm like, does this guy actually want to kill me because he's been staring at me for the past four hours? I've always flirted with people by being friends and then just getting along. Thanks for sticking around for this song and clearing up some cliches with us about British culture. If there's anything that surprised you or any cliches that you know of that we didn't cover today, stick it in the comments down below. Yeah, remember to like, subscribe, and follow for more. <laughs>